What is up Shark Arm, it's your boy Shark and welcome back to some more Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. This is a little mini series that I've started on the channel and this will be episode 2 or part 2. If you haven't watched the first one make sure you go back and watch it to see the first 30 minutes of the gameplay, the introduction to the game and stuff like that and we're going to continue this today. Just so you know that this video is sponsored by the developers of Story of Seasons, Marvelous Inc. We have teamed up together to create a little series of this game to showcase it off before it gets released. And it is not coming to Switch until the 23rd of March for the US version and then the 26th of March for the European version. So yeah, this game is getting released at the end of this uh, month. And luckily for me, I get to play this game a little bit early and show it off for you guys. And it's a blast. This is definitely one of my favorite games so far. It's incredible. So let's continue. Let's get straight into it. As you can see, we're on spring free, so day free in the first year. And now we can actually get into it properly. We've met most of the people, done a lot of introductions, got rid of all the boring stuff out of the way. And now it's time to explore and get a bit deeper into the game. So here we go. This day, we are introduced straight away by the Mayor Victor and somebody else. I don't know who, who he is. Uh, top of the morning to you. I hope you're ready for another lesson. Today I thought it would be wise to teach you a bit about using raw materials. So is this the carpenter? I forgot his name. Unfortunately, I'm not what you call a specialist. So I've enlisted the help of Nigel. That's his name, Nigel. All right, Nige, our local carpenter. Good morning, Sharky. My speciality is housing and furniture, you see. But I know enough about materials to teach you a thing or two. Uh, have you been picking up logs and stones? You can craft all sorts of useful things with them. You could turn them into a fence for livestock, for one thing. If you're going to run a farm, I'd say that's a pretty good use, huh? Naturally, you'll figure out other ways to utilise your materials as you go about developing your farm and such. So here we go, we can craft. This is a big thing in this game. Something that Story of Seasons and Harvest Moons back in the day uh, never really focused much on. Crafting was, wasn't a big thing. Obviously, the first time we saw a lot of crafting into like a farming RPG game was Stardew Valley, where you could craft so much stuff. So it's nice to see that they've also put this into the game as well. Okay, so this is a maker. For example, like this thing here that's showing on the screen to the left, this looks like it's going to make some kind of yarn or something like that from the wool, from the sheeps. And obviously, that's the wood on the right there. Right, okay, so this is about crafting. A little tutorial to get us going. That's nice. And here we are. Oh, yeah. Feel, oh, how come we've woke up with uh, not as much stamina? I'm not sure what's going on there. We must have uh, gone to bed quite late. We need to eat something, it seems. Have we got anything on us? Hmm. We don't have anything to eat. So here is the crafting thing here. Is there a chest? It'll be nice to... We've got the fences and the gates, paths. Okay. We've got twine. We've also got an ingot maker and the lumber maker. So the logs will turn into lumber and then obviously we use that to craft later on. Could do some kind of storage because as you can see, all of the materials uh, are on the inventory right. Is there anything in the tent that we could use to store? No, never mind. So we could do with trying to find something to eat today. Uh, what's this up here? We got the moon drop flower, nice. So what I want to do today as well, if we ended it on the last one, was so close to getting the, the coop rebuilt. Huh. We're going to use materials and we just needed a little bit more stone, I believe. So we can do that right now. Huh. 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 Okay, so the coop is just here. Let's, is it a barn? No, this is a coop. This is for the chickens. So there is some wild chickens around here and you can basically tame them. And that is like one way to get your animals in this. You can buy some, but you can also tame them. And the ones you tame, the more you tame, You'll be able to buy different vi uh, like variants and different animals in the, the livestock shop. Hey, we've got a level 3 for the uh, the Reaper. For using the scythe. Clearing up all this mess. Very relaxing. There's something satisfying about getting rid of these weeds with the scythe. Okay, so our stamina is pretty bad. We might have to go to like the restaurant later and pick up something to eat. So shall we build this coop? I think we've got enough. Let's rebuild it up. Let's take a look. So to repair it, there we go. We needed 20 logs, 20 stone, and 30 grass. Look how much grass we've got. Damn. So there we go, guys. We're going to repair this up. And let's see what happens. Nice. Look at that. Oh, we can choose a name for the facility. Okay. Um, and there we go, guys. We're going to call it the Chick Inn. <laughs> Do you get it? Hey. <laughs> this is the little chicken. Yes, I like it. Okay. Uh, chickens can be raised in coops by giving them fodder or letting them graze outside. They'll lay eggs in the coop for you to gather the next day. Oh, let's go. I'm excited. So let's get rid of these trees right in front of their little house here because it's hard to see. Got to be careful with stamina though. Might have to save those big logs. 
We're getting tired now. Okay, we've got to go and find something to eat. Either forage or we can buy something. I meant to even water the crops at that. Okay, so this chicken here. Uh, in order to take care of this animal, you'll have to bring it into the proper facility. Move it to... F yes, let's move it. So, oh look, the chicken. So we've got enough slots for five animals right now. So we're going to move it here. Uh, we can tame it. We're going to call this one... His name's Nug. <laughs> we're going to call him Nug. Okay, so confirm. So Nug's moved him to the chicken. And uh, we can ring the bell. And apparently, let's, let's ring it out. Um, put out to pasture. And there we go. Little Nug is outside. We can give him some love. Hey, he's happy. And he should graze outside for a little because it's quite sunny today. Uh, we don't need to really feed him because we've not even got any animal food. So I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, look at the tree grow. Right, we can't water the crops. We're going to have to go into town today, guys. Because we're going to need to buy some food or find something to forage because we're very hungry. So let's go into town and see what we can do. Okay, and here we go. So there is some people. So this is the animal shop. I need to know where the, um, the restaurant is. So this is Simon. At first, your old grandpa was mighty clumsy when planting his crops. Whenever he sowed the wrong seeds, he used his hammer to get them back. That's a handy tip. I'll take that. Uh, we've got Jessie. My, my, hello there. And you are... So this is someone new. We've not introduced ourselves to her yet. Uh, Gracious, you are Sharky. Now that I think of it, you do look quite a bit like your grandfather. My name's Jessie. I was good friends with your grandfather, you know? And there we go, guys. So let's take a look here. So... Uh, this is the general store. We can buy more seeds there, but we've still got some to water right now. This is the little fishing shop, right? Is there anything for us? I know there is a restaurant somewhere. Oh, I forgot your name. I need to get used to the names again. So this is George. Afternoon. Now, there is a little calf somewhere here, right? There we go. I wonder if we can buy something from here, guys. What time does this open? Oh, this is not good. When did they start serving food? Uh, 6 p.m. Oh, it's closed on Tuesdays. Guess what? It's Tuesday. That's not good. No. We might be able to find... I'm sure there's other places as well. Who are you? Uh, Jacopo. Uh, this place is pretty chill compared to the city. So what's this? That's the flower shop. Okay, I'm getting... I'm still familiarizing myself with this place. A tourist? God, look at him. He looks crazy. Uh -huh. Oh, Karina. Vibrant makeup goes perfectly with clear blue skies. The combination always gets my spirits soaring. Okay, we've got a tool shop here. So this is like the blacksmith and like a craftsmanship here. Nigel's Handiworks. We've got that big massive mansion there. I believe there was a big restaurant somewhere. Uh. Hello, Laurie. I greatly enjoy hearing the hustle and bustle of the town. Oh, look. I don't think we've met this kid yet either, have we? Oh, no, it's a tourist. Okay, that's why. Uh, Olive Oil. No, we don't want to go there. That's the museum as well. Yeah. Ah, guys, I think the restaurant's closed today. The only place we can really go to get some food. Cindy. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Cindy. And you are? Sharky. Oh, you're Sharky. So you're the one who's going to be living on the farm. May I come up and play sometime? Yeah, you can play with the animals one time. <laughs> what can we do to get more tourists to come? Hey, leave that with me. We'll sort it out. All right. Oh, look, there's a little park here. Oh, we can actually sit on the swing. It's a shame we can't actually go on it. Hey, you know, it's the inner child. If I see a swing, I want to ride on it, all right? I want to go. What is this place? I just want food. Is anybody selling food? No, this is just a residence. Oh, I don't think we've met you yet. Whoa, how do you say that? Dosetsu? I have no idea. Uh, you are Master Sharky, correct? I've heard tell of you from Master Victor. I am called Dosetsu. I have attended the young master, Lord Lori, since his birth. Okay, interesting. Master. I like the building, the sliding doors, very like Japanese style. This gives us a better opportunity to go and like forage and take a look around. Who are you? Hello. Uh, we've got Ralph. I don't think we've met this guy either. Uh, I don't think we've had the pleasure. I seem to recall the mayor saying something about this. Ha, right. You're Sharky. You're living on the farm, I hear. I'm Ralph. I work as a forest ranger here. Nice to meet you. Oh, that's awesome. And who are you? Bridget, sometimes I think that there may be more animals than people in this town. Yeah, there's quite a lot of animals, right? Oh, look, there's another fox here. He's run away. What is this, guys? Look at this. The shrine radiates a mysterious energy. We can offer our prayers. Hmm, I wonder who uh, passed away there. I wonder if it's like the harvest goddess. These games always seem to have that kind of thing. I can't find anything, anything to forage or to eat or anything like that. We might struggle, guys. This is Tuesday. We're not going to be able to water our crops. I wasted all my energy getting the materials for the coop. And now we can't get anything. 
this is the ranger station. The guy we've just met. So this is where he hangs out and stays. Oh, I like it. A little cabin. Got my name written all over that. So, there's the hotel and cafe. It's closed on Tuesdays. Oh, it's a bistro. Of course, I knew this was somewhere. 10 p.m. Right, whereabouts is the bistro? Okay, so it's there. It's above the fishing shop. We just missed it. I knew there was something else, not not just that um, little calf. I knew there was a bistro somewhere. And here it is. We just missed it, guys. So this never closes, apparently. Oh, there we go. Okay. I knew this was uh, here somewhere. I just couldn't think where. So we can have a salad, soup, uh, dessert, other dishes. Shall we have... Uh... Oh, curry rice. Does it, uh, does it tell you how much it's going to give you, like, stamina-wise? We can have a potato salad. Shall we try this? Let's see how much uh, stamina it gives us, guys. Did it just give us one heart? Okay, we're going to need something big. Let's have a curry rice. I like a curry. Let's see how much this gives us. So we're currently on two and a half, right? Oh, yes, there we go. The curry rice gives you a lot. All right, that's good. That's going to be enough to water the crops. Thank you. Let's go talk to this person as well, of course, Blair. I wonder if Misaki has a crush on anyone. This town is a little deserted, but there's something nice about that, honestly. I don't know who to go for with the marriage, guys. Like, who are the people you can actually marry in the game? Do you know who, who are the people that are dateable? I'm not sure. Bridget's quite nice. There's Blair, Misaki, Karina, maybe all these ones you can. Uh, Laurie. There's still some people we haven't met yet as well. I'm not sure where they'll be. Laura looks very cool. I'm not sure if you can actually marry her, though. But she does look cool. Beth's quite nice as well. There's quite a few. Okay, so we've, uh, as you can see, the little emoji there underneath our heart. I'm not sure if that's like a buff, but it's indicating that we've uh, had something to eat. Uh, Angela, I like how relaxed this town is, but I guess a little bit more excitement would be nice. If the town gets busier, we'll get more customers too. I kind of hate being busy though. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh yeah, this is um, Emilio. I don't hate sleepy towns or anything. I just wish things were a bit more exciting. So we, it must be our job to try and make this town more lively, you know, to attract more tourists and things like that. Get it thriving. Good to meet you. Could you be the new owner of the farm? You're Sharky, right? My name is Manuela. And don't you forget it. So this is somebody that we've not speak, spoke to before as well. Look at her. It would be nice if this town had a little more spirit. Everyone keeps saying the same thing. So here we are back on the farm. We can actually water our crops now as well, which is going to be nice. So let's get our watering can. We need to refill this. And let's water our uh, little crops here. I'm not sure where we get the fishing rod from. That'll be quite nice to start doing some fishing. Maybe we have to go and buy it from the little fishing shop. We'll have to take a look at that. Oh, look at this. There's some stuff that we can forest here. What's that? Harvest? We got a royal fern. If anything, we can, if we can find anything, we can obviously try and sell it. We've got a lot to clear up as well here. Look at all these weeds. Go and check inside the little coop and see how the, the chicken's looking. Oh, look, there's a little squirrel there. I think we've already took a picture of the squirrel, though. Do you have to ring the bell to get them back in? Uh, put out or clear away? No, 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 no. I'm not sure when they go back inside. Okay, so we've cleared up a little bit more of the farm. We can actually see the coop a little bit better now as well. Um, I've got some trees down. I'm not sure what these are here. There must be trees regrowing. But let's go and sell this. Uh, we've got a royal firm. We've not had much to forage today. Yeah, we didn't make much today. Rubbish. Oh, and here we go. Victor's here again. Uh, good morning. I hope Tent Life is treating you well. It seems to me like you're getting used to it, in fact. Still, I know a tent is neither luxurious nor convenient, which is why I wanted to teach you about home expansions today. Just as we were talking about it, guys. Look at that. Your home, uh, tent, can be expanded into a log cabin with enough materials and money. Remember Nigel, the fellow from yesterday? As I mentioned, he is our local carpenter. If you head on over to his workshop and commission him, he'll be more than happy to upgrade your house. Nice. So we can expand it. Oh, look, there's a dog there. I like a little pet. Oh, you can request house expansions. Okay. We can cook, own pets, and live your best life. Or farm life. Okay, cook your own meals, take a bath. Oh, let's go. Okay. So this is probably going to cost quite a lot of materials, right? A lot of logs, which we've just spent a lot for the coop. So, hey, look at that. We've finally got full hearts. So we went to bed a little bit earlier, which is very nice. We'll go and check out the carpenter today and we'll see how much it's going to cost us. Oh, we've got some more oregano. Nice. Let's take a little forage around on the farm first. We've also got a nice blood clam. 
Hey, I'll take anything right now. We'll sell it all. Is there anything else about... Oh, and we've also got... Is that another moon drop? Nice. So we can get all this in the bin. That's going to give us 62 gold so far. So let's water these crops first thing, so we don't run out of stamina again. And then we can get cracked on with the day and uh, take a look around, see what we can do. Could do with buying some more seeds as well, maybe. We need to start making some big money. Hey, we've just upgraded uh, another skill. New title. Sorry, not a skill. Uh, the Hand That Waters. Nice. Oh, found something else there. Wild Berry. Now, this is why it's worth clearing up this farm, because a lot of this stuff is hiding. I would not have seen that if I didn't walk through here. Okay, so that's most of that cleared up. Let's take a look at the chicken. The berries might be quite good to eat for stamina if we need to. Oh, look, we've got our first egg. Uh, feed your animals, uh, feed bins, they'll eat the fodder from the bins every day. Animals who are being fed will produce the byproducts the next day. So there we go. Friendship is one, happiness is one. We've got our first egg. Let's go. That's exciting. Let's give him a pet. So we don't have any... Where do we get the food from? We're going to have to let him outside. Well, let's go to the chicken shop and maybe buy some. But first, let's let him outside just so we can at least eat some grass. It's not raining. We should be fine. We need to buy some animal food. We maybe got that a little bit early. Let's just sell the eggs and the berries. You know, we need all the money we can get. And let's go into town. Let's check out the carpent shop, the uh, chicken shop. Okay, so first is this. They close on Tuesdays. We're fine. I want to see how much animal food is. Could we just... We can't use grass. Could you put grass in there? I don't think we can, right? Let's take a look. Uh, breeding kit, livestock, chicken breeding kit. Okay. What about this? Huh? Buy a pet or mount? Where do we get oh. food from? Chicken is 2,000 gold. I have no idea what, where we get the food from. Maybe the general store? So here is the general store. Let's see what you're selling. Uh, so buy goods. There's all the seeds. Oh, onion seeds. Of course, we found a wild onion. And we can now buy them. That's cool. Fodder. Seeds that can be sown in spring, summer, and autumn. We'll, we'll, uh, with proper care, they'll grow into fresh green fodder five days after planting. Okay. Or we can buy fodder on its own. Look at that. Set in your animal's feeding bin. It might be worth planting our own, you know, guys, as well. I, mean, I might get a few of that. If I buy five of those to start us off, and then we can buy... Because 40 for one, that's that's insane. Okay, we'll buy 10 just to keep us going, just in case it rains and stuff. There's fishing bait, pet trees, bouncy ball, oh my god. So for now, that will do. We've bought something, you know, so that's where you buy the fodder from. You thought you would have been able to buy that from the actual animal shop. That makes more sense to me, but you know, general store, I guess they sell it as well. So now we need to go to the carpenter shop, and I want to see how much it's going to be. There he is, handiworks. Wednesday. Oh, they closed today. Oh, no. I was going to see how much it was... Uh, Gonna cost us to get the house upgrade. Let's check that tomorrow. So this is the the worker base tool shop. We'll upgrade your precious tools for you. I don't think we've been here before. Totally forgot about it. Okay. So you can also commission bag expansions. Nice. Look at the motorbikes here. Holy smokes. This guy's cool. Hey. Hey, I'm Clemens. I'm the guy behind all the bits and bobs at the tool shop, and you are. I'm Sharky. Ah, so you're Sharky. Good to meet you. Hey. Welcome. So we can upgrade our bag. How much is this going to cost? 3,000? Oh my god. That's... Okay. What about tools? So of course if we want to get the iron tools here. This is all we can get right now. We need 1,000 gold for a start. But then we also need free lumber. So we need that uh, maker that turns uh, logs into lumber and iron bars. So yeah, we're going to need to craft both of those before we upgrade. That's, that's good to know. It's good to know. So let's get back to the farm a second. So we've got 10 fodder, and I'm also going to plant my own as well. Just so it might be a little bit cheaper, maybe. Animals are expensive things. So first, let's get our hoe. Let's make some fodder. Maybe I can just, like, do a little... We've got five, right? Okay, so they're all in. We need to fill this up as well. That well's in a great place. Our chicken's out, loving life. A little nug. So that's the fodder seeds all done. So now if we go in here, let's just take a look. So where can we store this? So we can put 10 in there, okay. And there we go. So that, as you can see, 10 out of 10. The chickens will eat this on rainy days when they're not outside. Obviously, it's already been fed right now. So that's good to know. So just in case as a backup, if we can't let them outside to graze, 
they have got some source of food ready. I'm just going to knock these trees down a little bit more space. We're going to need the materials as well soon. And let's see if we can craft the, uh, the makers that we've got. Okay, let's take a look. So what do we need? So, okay, we can make both of these. So we need 20 logs for the lumber maker. Okay, wow. We made one of those. We're going to need some more now for this. And then we need one more log. Okay. Oh, I think we just got it. <laughs> there we go. We've got both of those. We've unlocked some new stuff now. So the more things you craft, we can now get the thread maker. And fodder rolls. Oh, look at this. A few big, easy to spot rolls of, for the, of the animal's much loved fodder. Okay. So could you put these outside or is this just like a bigger quantity? I have no idea. So let's put our makers down and let's test them out. This is exciting. So let's, whereabouts should we put them? Uh, maybe somewhere up here. Mm, that might be a good place for an animal place. So can we put them up here out of the way? So it has to be down here. Okay, we're gonna need to make some more space here. So we can put that there, and then we can also put this one above it, maybe. Then we could have like a little path going down here. Let's get rid of this tree. Oh, wrong place. It's a bit fiddly, the controls. Using a controller on the Switch, obviously, my Pro Controller. It's a little fiddly. Okay. Hey, we've got a skill up. Oh, new title, level 3, login. Let's go. So, insert. So if we put the, like, logs into there, as you can see, it's making some lumber. And we can also... Oh, we've not got anything to mine yet, have we? Yeah, we need to do a little bit of mining. Maybe we can do that. Not got much stamina though. We could break some of these stones that we've got lying around though. We might be able to find some iron in them. There's a few more up here. Use the rest of the energy that we've got for today. It's been a busy one. There we go, we've got some iron ore. Let's go. Oh, he's getting really tired. I think you might pass out. Come on, you can do it. Look at all the iron we're getting, guys. How much do we need to smelt one bar? We've got five right now. Hopefully that's enough to make at least one. Let's take a look. Uh, insert. Okay, yeah, so we need five for one. Okay, nice. So there we go, guys. We've got some stuff on the go. We've got one lumber and one ingot, iron ingot. And then we can eventually make more. So we can start upgrading our tools, which will be quite good. We need to see how much we can upgrade the how much it's gonna cost to upgrade the house tomorrow. Because that might be a priority. That might be quite good to do. We've not got much stamina left. Can I knock this one tree down? Let's see. It's getting tight. Yeah, we should be okay. Nice. Okay, so there's not much we can do for today. Maybe let's go into town, speak to some people. I want to go to the museum uh, because we took a few pictures in the last episode of the animals. And apparently you can like obviously donate them or whatever and they can put them up in the museum for people to see. That'd be quite cool. Also, the fishing shop. I'd like a fishing rod. Is this a fish shop? Look at this, guys. We've got an, uh, a little art event. Well, is it an art? Like some kind of event, in a way. Manuela. Well, now, you've got the look of someone who hasn't gone fishing before. Yes! This is what we wanted. Don't you worry. This is a good opportunity as any to learn. I'd be happy to teach you if you like. Here, for starters, I'll give you the fishing rod. It was just lying around my house. And I'd rather it be put to good use. That's amazing. Using the fishing rod, you can cast out uh, your fishing rod as long as you're facing a body of water. Once you've got a fish in the line, on the line, reel it and begin to battle your catch. This is going to be a good way of making money as well, guys, and we can donate all the fish in the aquariums. Once you've gained enough fishing experience, I bet you'll be able to reel in the big ones, just like me, uh, Miyama, Marcus can, whoever that is. And that's all there is to it. Get out there and enjoy the fish. Right, so uh, yeah, there we go, we've got the fishing rod. A novice fisher. We can try that out tonight. Ah. Hola, Sharky. Hola. I am good. See, see. Should we try a little bit of fishing now? Whereabouts is the rod? Will it be in the tool bag? Yeah, it is. So there we go. That's another one unlocked. There's still two more tools that we've not unlocked yet. I don't know what they're going to be. Uh, I'm trying to think what they could be. Because you don't have pickaxe in this game. Maybe some kind of... No, there's no combat either. I'm pretty sure. So there's the rod. We're going to need some bait though. So, we can come into the, the beach here, we can fish. So let's see how this works. There we go. Uh, hold Y to reel in the fish. When the fish is white, it will get... Okay. Alright, alright. The fish got away. Oh, 
Okay, it's gonna. I'm gonna have to learn about this a little bit. I'm energy as well. It's quite low. So can we only reel the fish when it's white? I believe. Don't reel it in when it's blue. It got away. Hmm. Oh no! Oh no! We passed out on the beach. Oh no. Okay. The next day. Are we gonna lose money or stamina? I was fishing and obviously I didn't realize how much uh, stamina it drained. And I was trying to master. Oh, we woke up with full stamina. That's fine. That's easy. Just the, the day ends, which it needed to end anyway. I'm not sure how to fish. Uh, I was trying to do it, but uh, the way I thought you could do it was not working. So, yeah, I'm not sure. So it is the next day. Obviously, these are done as well. That's not bad. So we've got one ingot and one lumber. So can we put more in there? Or we, how much do we need? So three logs to make one lumber. Okay. Let's water the crops. And the fodder as well. It's growing. Look at that. You can see the trees growing as well. So they, they do randomly spawn on the farm. Seems to be quite frequent as well. There's lots of tree saplings at the minute. So you'll always have a source of wood, which is good. And look at my fruit tree. Nice. We have got another royal fern. Seems like the grass grows as well. We've got a new title, Lover of Beauty. Uh, watering can, we've got these crops to water as well. I'm going to try the fishing again today because I need to master it and I'm not quite sure how it works yet. Okay, crops are all watered and sorted. Um, what else can we... Oh, I've got some stuff to sell. The chicken, we shall let it out as well because it's still quite sunny. We had no rain yet in the first five days. So I've not even know, I don't even know what the rain looks like in this game yet. Huh. Hey, look at him. Nug's happy. Hey, apprentice livestock breeder, level two. I like how you can get lots of skills in this game. For no matter what, you, whatever you do in the game, there's always uh, something to get skills up. Let's pick up this egg. There should be ten food still in there yet because there's grazing outside right now. Enjoying the Nug life. Let's put. Oh, got another one of those done as well. Should we put some more on? Yep. Yeah. Keep that on the go. Got things to sell. Got the royal fern and the egg. We can make mayonnaise, I think, but we ain't got the machine for that just yet, so I'm going to keep just selling them for now. Could do with some kind of storage, though. <gasps> yes! Okay, wooden box used for storage. We need five lumber. Oh, okay. Also, small fish bait. Mayonnaise maker! Okay, it's all popping up, guys. The jewelry ring? This is good for a gift, okay. Right, so we need this storage. This is gonna be so handy. We really need this. 10 things can be stored at a time. Change the color by using dye as well. So we need to get five of these. How much we got right now? Two, okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. As you can see, we've, we've literally got two slots. So there's not a lot we can do with that. And I wanted to fish as well. So we haven't really got space. Uh, can I fish down here? I think there's a little like pier that we can use down here somewhere. Maybe just do a bit of practicing today because, yeah, like I said, I'm not quite sure how to do it yet. Can we fish here? Okay, we can, look at that. All right, let me see how I do this. So when the fish is blue, I think that's when you're real. Because the fish seems to go to the top then. Okay, I think I, I think I get it. Oh, don't, don't reel when it's red. Okay, and obviously your line there. Is that right? Yeah, okay, I got it, I got it. Oh, look at that, guys. We've got a Gazami crab. 31 centimeters, two star. That is amazing. And I think there's quite a lot of fish in this game as well. But by looking at the aquarium, it seems to be a lot to get. All right, so when it's blue, you reel in. When it's white, the fish is staying there and red is aggressive, okay? He's trying to fight and get away. This is a different fishing game that I've never experienced before. Oh, so close, look at that. We got a whiskered velvet shrimp, 27 centimeters. That's decent, so that's the, <laughs> we've got no room. We can go and donate these though. Oh, look at this. Hello there, Sharky. Get in the hang of things here in Olive Town. I realize we may not have as many conveniences compared to the big city, but we get by here well enough. We all work together to build this place into what it is today, and we're proud of that. We have our troubles, of course, but, uh, Jacopo, what on earth are you doing here? Not skipping work off the ferry, are we? Nah, Dad, it's cool. We don't have many tourists heading in today, so I took care of cleaning duty in uh, no time flat. 
so that's why you're back early. Yeah, pretty much. I figured I'd run and take a shower before Captain George gives me the next assignment. Not many tourists coming today, guys. They don't want to come here for some reason. <sighs> and that, you see, is one of our troubles. We like tourism. I'm not saying that Olive Town has to be a top res uh, resort spot by any means, but I'd like it to be a tiny oasis that tourists can enjoy. That's where you come in, Sharky. You were raised in the big city, weren't you? Could I get your opinion on something? What do you suppose we should do to grab the attention of the city folk? Uh, advertise on TV? Develop the town with the latest tech? Uh, offer a break from the hustle and the bustle? So it's nice to come here for a break because it's very relaxing, lots of animals. I'm going to go with this. Ah, see, offering a calming break from the city life might be just what they need. We can certainly do that from here. I constantly think of myself, folks from the big city are always rushing around. They need a good break every now and then. If they could take some time to relax in Olive Town, perhaps they could find themselves again and remember life's simple pleasures. There we go. That's exactly what we need to do. That was a quick shower. <laughs> Jesus. Speaking of life's simple pleasures, that shower felt great. That was like the quickest one ever. Maybe I'll sneak in a cafe trip and take the rest of the day off. Oh, for the love of, please go to work, son. <laughs> wow. So there we go. Hopefully that can bring a little bit more uh, tourism here. People, you know, come here for a break, get away from the city life. Oh, look at this. They're awarding the flowers. That's cool. Uh, Mikey? Hey, I'm Mikey. Fun fact, I can shoot lasers from my eyes. Pew pew! What's your name? Sharky? Okay, I'm gonna remember that. <laughs> so that's somebody new as well. I think I spoke to him. Cindy. Oh, so they're brother and sisters. My big bro told me that the city has loads more people than we do here. And here is Lynn. Don't you find yourself wishing more people would come to this town? Not really. I quite like uh, the peace and quiet. So this is the museum. Let's take a look in here. How do we donate the things? Uh, is this closed today? Oh, I think it's closed. God damn it. Everything seems to be closed. No wonder people aren't coming. There's no tourism because nothing's open. Closed on Thursdays, of course you are. The day that I wanted to come up. Typical. And there you are. Gloria. Oh yes, I have heard of you. You are Sharky, correct? My name is Gloria. I curate the museum. You are welcome to pursue our exhibits anytime the mood strikes you. We've already met, we've already met you, I'm pretty sure. It was like a cutscene though, so maybe that didn't count. Okay, here's Lars. So this is somebody new as well. Oh, are you the one I've been hearing rumors about, Sharky? I'm Lars. I help my big brother, Clem, at the tool shop. You came here on a motorcycle, right? Well, it just so happens I'm the town's motorcycle expert. If you ever need any help with that, I'm your guy. There we go. Is there anything that we can forage or pick up? There's some water here. I wonder if we can fish in there as well, but we've got no room. I, want, I need some storage, so I'm going to head back to the farm. I think I'm going to spend a little time processing some logs into lumber, get that storage chest, and that's one thing ticked off. And all the tools that we don't need for the day, we can put in there, so we've got lots of room in a backpack. And then once we've done that, we can start to get the mayonnaise maker. That's going to be a good way of making a bit more money. And then we can eventually upgrade our tools and stuff like that. Here we are, back on the lockdown farm. So this one should be ready for us, so that'll be free. We just need two more guys. Um, process, it's cost free. We might be able to knock a few more trees down. Just because we're eventually going to be using quite a lot. Seems like lumber's going to be a big main resource that we need for, you know, everyday crafting. Okay, so that's a few trees not down there. Looks like one's growing right there. So what do we need here? Repair. Now we can use this with money or materials. Um, materials is going to be quite important. So let's try money. Okay, work on this will cost 5,000 gold. Okay. So if we want to spend this money on this instead of materials, it's going to cost 5,000. What about materials? 15 lumber. See, that is a lot. A lot of lumber that's very important to us right now. But we do get more space if we unlock this. We get a brand new area down there. This one's nearly done. Okay, I see a royal fern here as well. Let's take that. Oh, there's no space, right? Oh, the, okay. So they'll stay on the floor, but the next day they'll disappear if you don't make room for them. I'm going to sell these two crabs, and or this crab and shrimp. I was going to donate them, because obviously it's the first one we've found. But I can't keep hold of them because we ain't got space. And I'm sure we can find them again. So there we go. We can pick that back up now. Okay, and we've got this one. So we just need one more, guys. And that's going to be our five for the storage. Oh, so you can take things back out, actually. Look at that. So if we do want to still keep them before the night ends, when our storage is done, we can take them back out. Quite good. I'm just crafting some fences. I want to see what they look like. 
So let's see what we can do with them. Um, how do I do this? Oh, we can't put one right there. What the hell? Come on. That means a chicken can get through. There's no point in having a fence. I wish you could put a... I guess it's like a little gate, but... You can't place things like right to the edge, so there's gaps, which kind of sucks, really. Like, for example, we can't put one right there. You're going to have to, like, go here. Oh, you can't get one right there in the corner? Oh, my God. Okay. It's very picky where you can put your fences, which kind of sucks. You can't even put one there, guys, in front of the crops. Hmm, not sure if I like that. You can't seem to put anything near the buildings. Guessing because if you upgrade them... But like, I can't even go here. I could maybe go there. Can I get rid of this? But then you just got like a weird gap. Can't even go there. Oh no. Okay, well we've got a little fence <laughs> for, for them. The chickens have got some kind of space, I guess. So if you want to get rid of this tree, you can smash it down. But you can get rid of the saplings. By using your hammer. What about a gate? Can I put... Can I put a gate here? Right like right there? No. The fences are a little disappointing because you can't you don't seem to have freedom to place them anywhere. Uh, there's a little gate there now. Even though you don't really need it because look, there's gaps everywhere. You can't put fences close to buildings or rocks or cliffs or anything like that. It's kinda it kinda sucks. I wish I had a little bit more freedom with where you could place things. Like, I mean look at that. Like why can't I put a fence there? Like just block that off, that will be so nice. Like, I can block this off so then you can make a nice little coop area for the chickens, but you just can't seem to do that, you know, but it is what it is. But, you know, maybe it's just the way the game's built. So we've got our five lumber now, so we can actually make the chest, the storage, which is so handy. We really need this right now. So there we go, we can place, uh, set them anywhere on your farm, open with A, okay, store items. So we can place this, where shall we put it? Somewhere maybe next to our, can we put this anywhere? Yeah. I'm just gonna place it there, behind uh, behind the well. So now, we can actually store all of our like, oh, tools go in the tool bag, of course. I'm an absolute idiot. So we can put all of our like, iron ore, ingot, sap that we don't seem to use, uh, stone, grass right now. So there we go. So if you want to store tools where I keep forgetting we've got a tool bag. So like the camera, you can just put in your tool bag and this gives you space. I keep forgetting about that. That's so like, it's different to what I'm used to. Uh, like if we're not fishing, we can put that away. Like when you've watered the crops, put it back in your tool bag. Why did I not do that before? We've got a little bit of stamina left. Maybe do a bit of fishing tonight to end the day. Let's see what I can find here. This is a tough fish because it's not giving us much blue color. It's all red and white. He got away! No! That was a tough fish. There we go. What have we got? A sardine. Hey, nice. That's a new one. Another sardine. This one's bigger though. And we've got the crab again. Nice. And we've passed, <laughs> we passed out. We've got level 2 fishing though. Uh, okay, so those ones in the thing sold. That's fine. Auto save complete. Good morning to you, Sharky. Apologies for barging on you so early, but there's something important I need to ask of you. But you know what, guys? I think I'm going to end that one there. So in the next episode, we'll continue this, what Victor has to tell us. I don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, I think that's a good place to end it. We passed out. We played through three or four days there. We can now fish. We've mastered the fishing. We've got the coop rebuilt. We've now got chickens. I'm going to buy another one soon. We've got storage. We can start upgrading our tools. There's lots to do. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and give it all your support you can. Get involved in the comments, let me know what you think of this game. Will you be picking it up yourself on the Switch? Is this a game that you will play yourself? Let me know down below. If you're a big Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons fan, or even Stardew Valley, then you'll definitely love this game. I recommend it, definitely. I'm having a blast with this. And there's going to be more episodes on the channel. Like I said, we're roughly doing around six episodes, uh, me teaming up with Marvelous. But if you do want to see more, make sure you let me know and we can continue this on the channel even after, you know, we've done our little partnership here with the developers. But thank you all for watching, guys. Make sure you uh, are subscribed to the channel if you haven't. And I'll see you on the next video. Stay safe and bye-bye.